In this video, I want to go over a new property that um, on the place node command. I've got the place node command up, and I've currently got a feature definition set um, for an inlet. So I've picked an inlet, just inlet generic combo. And I want to point out the elevation um, option. Elevation is the invert. Notice it is grayed out. So um, it's a new option, but it's only going to be available when we're placing um, outlets. Um, um, cross-section type nodes, um, uh, head walls, you know, that kind of stuff. It won't be available for um, manholes and inlets. So for example, if I choose an outfall, then it becomes available. And it's simply just that, that it's going to, you know, we, we set the reference elevation um, on our structures that we're placing, and instead of assuming that the elevation is the top, um, it's going to go ahead and assign that elevation as the invert. So just to demonstrate that um, here in this example, I'll go ahead and pick um, this surface here. So this mesh component, the fill slope. And then I'm going to come over here and place it along the bottom of the fill slope here. So I'm just going to snap um, to the bottom. So data point there rotate it around so it's facing out. So that's the typical how it's always worked. You know, so again, this particular structure, the elevation location point is the top. Now I'm going to flip on elevation is invert. Okay, so I'll just just to, you know, just to back out of the tool for a second, I'm, I'm going to choose the same surface, right? And but this time the elevation is the invert. So I've toggled that on. And then again, I'm just going to come over here and just data point close to that location, spin it around so they're side by side, and you can see um, the difference. So let me just zoom in on these two in plan view, and I'll go ahead and do the same over here in the cross section view. So I'll window um, around those. And so you can see the difference. So the, the one on the right, that was one that I had that option turned on. So if we look at that particular um, node and look at its properties, um, we've added that elevation is the invert property and it's set to true. So you can toggle that off after the fact if you want as well. And so in this particular one, the one on the left hand side, elevation is the invert is false. So. It now allows us to place, you know, especially in this case, a head wall at the bottom of a ditch and have it read correctly the, the elevation. So you get to choose a time of placement. So that's a new property um, on the nodes. Elevation is the invert. 